Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you guys are new here, my name's Alex, and um, I'm, I'm back. I know many of you guys for the past few months have been waiting and wanting um, to... Waiting, wanting... Ever since my dad passed away, this house has been sitting here in my name. In my name. It says I'm pretentious. In my name. And it's empty. Okay. Do I look sad? I am sad. This house has been in my name, just sitting here. Empty. I've never seen a camera like that in, well, in person before, and you look new. Uh, I, I just got distracted whenever I saw the camera because I was like, you know, wow, that's you know, strange looking. Uh, right, by the way. What's wrong with my camera? Nothing. I'm just I'm bad with words. Uh, I can ask, why, why do you have it pointed over there just at the houses instead of something cool like, I don't know, the waves or sunset? I've, I've lived here my whole life, actually, and I, I can tell you that there's not really anything interesting up there. I'm making, I'm making a video about one of the houses up there. Oh, really? Oh, that's bomb. But why? What makes the house so special? Also, why are you mad? Uh, do you like ice cream? My dad actually runs a shop down there, and it's pretty cool. Like, maybe you should check it out if you get the time. Listen, I don't really want to talk about it and you seem like a nice guy and all. But I came down here to distress, and you're not helping. Oh, she forgot to forget. Wait, hey, you forgot your pizza.
guys, welcome to my new channel. Um, my name is Alex, and I'm just gonna be doing some makeup for you guys today. Um, so here's one of my palettes. And I'm going to take Hello? Hey, Allie, how's the shoot going? Why'd you do it? Do what? Alex, if you want my help, you need to be more specific with your Why words. did you share my story? I never gave you permission, and I told you in one-on-one -on -one conversation for a reason. Alex, you need to look at the bigger picture. If I never released any of what you told me about your dad, then your channel would still be empty, with no traction whatsoever. And you expect me to thank you for that? Yes, absolutely. Draw and popularity go hand in hand, especially in your field. Come on now, that is some top tier content, and you are sleeping on it. You should definitely be thanking me for noticing your potential. Fuck you. Alex, I think deep down, you know that I'm right. And that is the whole reason why you are where you are right now. Alright, I gotta get back to work. Sleep well. I thought about what you said yesterday, and I'm sorry. Do you want ice cream? How... how did you find my house? I, I just remembered where you were pointing the camera yesterday, and I, I saw the car on back. That's a new car to the area. Ice cream. Uh, you know, I really appreciate the offer, but I'm lactose intolerant. Oh, wait, I got sorbet. What kind of sorbet? I'm sorry to hear about that. Your friend sounds pretty terrible. It's good. Um, we're not really friends. Not anymore, at least. I guess I just don't get why you would tell me. Because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a complete stranger to you. You know, what's the difference between telling me and just telling everyone online? Uh, I... <laughs> problem. But I, I guess in general, I 
trusts you. You don't seem like a person who's on the internet very much, and also you are physically here. You can't screenshot or copy and paste this conversation. Yeah, I really only use it to tell the weather. I don't know. One thing still confuses me, though. What? Well, obviously your story is important to you. You know, it's, it's tragic and it's hard to talk about. And if that's the case, then why are you going to make a video about it if at the end of the day it's just going to hurt you? Because... That's what the people want. Uh, you know, sometimes I feel like I have to take a couple hits in order to prevent an even harder one from coming. For the greater good. Even if it hurts. How's the sorbet? It's good. I've never had it before. You sure I don't have it? Oh yeah, no, it's from my dad's place. It's all fruit based. If there was milk in it, I would know. Your dad's place? Yeah, I told you about this yesterday. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of forgot most of our conversation. You know, I was just mad. You're being annoying. No, no offense. But I imagine that it's a cute popular place. Been taken. And yeah, I mean, at least in the area. I don't know, not a lot of new people come in from out of town because not that many people actually know about it, so. Wait. Riley. Oh, Riley, you're a genius. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you what? okay? You okay? <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I just inhaled some of this when you said that. I don't know how many people call me a genius, sorry. Oh my god, okay. Well, <laughs> you need CPR. No, I'm okay. 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 Sweet. But, but, think about it. With the popularity that I have right now, which I could honestly do without, I could make a video and people would tune in no matter what the fuck I talk about. Mm hmm I can use this popularity then to make a video about your town. This town. We could show them show them the setting, the places, the the people, the stores like you like your dad's. Okay. Riley, we could put this town on the map. Yeah, but your video. <laughs> okay, who cares? What's what's the coolest part of the town? Pier 31, I guess, but <laughs> wait. Wait, where are you going? I don't get it. People are waiting on your video. How is making one about this town instead gonna help us? It's weird. The second you become even a little bit popular on the internet, bad publicity turns into good publicity because the people who are mad at you will share your videos more than the people who actually like you. So we're gonna use them. Exactly. All we gotta do is make the map. And by not releasing the video and making this one instead, Word will spread around quick. I know it. See, I get that, but what do you need me for in all of this? I, I've never made a video before. Isn't my presence kind of useless as a whole? You've lived here your whole life. When I lived here, I wasn't even allowed to leave the house. I know nothing about this town. Are there any hidden flavors of ice cream at your dad's place? Um, s'mores? Wait, really? Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, not a lot of people know about it. That is perfect. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Do you know how many people would kill to try s'mores flavored ice cream? I didn't know that food was possible. Thanks for dragging me around town today. Also, did you call me Rai earlier? It was something that I noticed, but I forgot to comment on. <laughs> yeah, um, sometimes once I get comfortable with a person, I give them a nickname. I see. Well, 
Thank you for doing this, Al. No problem. Same time tomorrow? Uh, I don't think so. Um, but definitely at some point tomorrow. I just need to go look over the footage a little bit. Awesome. Well, good night. Good. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. See ya. Hey, Chase. Allie, what are you doing? Your subscriber count is dropping. What? I don't know, this new girl, Cloesha, gained a significant following recently and is now calling you a liar. Because of that, you're down 15%. Oh, she doesn't even know me. Oh my, Alex, don't you get it? This is why you need to make the video. No one is being sympathetic to you anymore. She took your story and spun you not making the video into you using abuse for views. Honestly, Alex, I just hope you make the video, okay? For your sake. And look, I heard you guys in the comments and I absolutely hear what you're saying. But I'm just not going to bite this time. People fake their trauma for views all the time, and it's the most disgusting thing on this planet. That's exactly what Alex is doing in this case. There is no evidence, no video, no text, nothing to back it up. And it's just really something I want you guys to think about before you go and just... guys um i'm sorry that this video is coming out a little later than you all were expecting i just needed some time to kind of think things over i would show you my bruises on my chest and my stomach to prove to you that what actually happened to me happened to me but i don't even think that would change anything that's all you really have, is my word. Dear Alex, a part of me hopes that you never find this letter and that you're off living a better life somewhere else. Without your mother, this house feels empty, sad, and lifeless. When an ad came up for this place back when you were little, you saw it as a piece of paradise. A place where we could raise a family of our own, far away from technology, the big city, and the noise that came along with it. We were in love. It felt like the perfect place for us to raise you and your sister. 
However, when the crash happened, everything good about this house began to rot. I picked up the bottle, let it put me in autopilot, and through that I hurt you, and I will never be able to forgive myself. Your mother was always a guiding figure to me. She always helped through tough times, and I was always fascinated by her ability to take things and keep moving. I let one thing hit me, and I ruined everything in that moment, and I don't want that to happen to you. I don't want the pain of the past to come back and keep you from achieving greatness. Your mother said a haunting thing to me on her deathbed that I've been keeping to myself for a long time, but I think you're old enough now to hear it, assuming you ever come back. She said she wanted to keep her final words of family secret to make sure that her love remains special and all I ask is that you do the same for her sake. Well, here it is. You're going to do great things, Alex. I wish I had your strength. It's so sad I gotta start all over. It's so that I gotta start all over. Yeah. She said.